Hello world, it's Angelot, and today I want to show you a new feature I've been working on, adding particle collisions to the Blender game engine. And um, before I start, I gotta thank my advisor, Gordon Erlebacher. Uh, he helped me fix up a lot of issues I was having with the collisions and sped it up a lot, which I'll talk about shortly. So let's first take a look at what we have here. I have my particle system modifier applied to this plane up here. We're just going to do simple gravity. We got 2,000 particles, um, radius of 20. We're going to have them collide with meshes. And what I've done is each of these meshes has a collider property. It's a Boolean that's been checked. And uh, all of these cubes, they've all been trans uh, turned into triangles so I can get the triangle meshes. So we're colliding against triangle meshes. Now let's see what it looks like. And because I'm recording screen flow here, frame rate's not as good as it would be normally. It's running about 50 frames a second without recording. Let me turn down the number of particles, see if we can get a uh, faster frame rate. Well, it's still about the same. So this just shows that the particles, they're bouncing off. Um, I'm interacting with the emitter uh, with the Z and X key. And I can also move one of the cubes. And we'll see the particles bounce off the cube. Um, it's all in real time. So, And I can actually mess with the rotation of the particles, but it's a little hard to see on this one. In a second here, I'm going to show you on the uh, GTX 480, we can do a lot more particles there. So, matter of fact, let me show you that. Now here, I'm running with 65,000 particles, and I'm going to, well, first I'll show you with the gravity vector field. Let's see, I gotta go in game engine. So this is gravity bouncing everywhere. Now let me show you this one I like is with uh, an arbitrary vector field. Um, this could could be made to model something like smoke or um, rain, maybe snow, that kind of thing. And here, so we got 60,000. And I forgot to mention that in both of these cases, we're colliding against about um, a thousand triangles. Uh, the monkey has 500 triangle faces, and the this, um, ellipsoid has about 600. And each of these cubes is just 12, two for each face. So we're using um, shared memory optimization in OpenCL to get the triangle um, speed up access to the triangles. And actually, um, my advisor Gordon has been working on a bounding box uh, optimization that will make this even faster. And then we'll actually we'll get two birds with one stone because we'll be able to collide against just bounding boxes or you'll be able to choose triangle meshes but they'll still check against the bounding box to, to make things faster. So just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. Um, expect to, to see a little bit faster soon and all my codes on GitHub. Again I'd like to thank the Department of Scientific Computing at Florida State University for supporting this research and uh, I'll see you guys later.